okay, this is totally weird. Let's live chat. Interesting. Hey, hey, friends. I am live. I am testing out, I have a brand new iPhone. I've never had an iPhone in my life. I've only had Androids and it barely fits in my little holder. So I am just kind of, wow, it is really high def too. Hello. So I know I teased a little yesterday that I was gonna do a live haul today. I never know on a Saturday if it's gonna be a good or bad day at the flea market. So that's why I never, I can't really schedule and know what time I'm gonna be home. It just depends upon how it's gonna be. I did put feelers out there because I had a large, hey, Dolores, hey, girl. I love this iPhone layout. Like you can see everything and I can see the chat clearly. This is awesome. Everyone's coming in. I've got my iPad going too so I can see the chat. So I put some feelers out. If you guys would rather see a large haul I had from Goodwill on Wednesday or um, if you wanted to see the flea market and I got a lot of everyone wants to see what I find at the flea market today. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see what we have at the flea market. Hey, Brigia, welcome. And I will say, um, I'm trying to think, everything I got today, I think there's only three items I'm keeping for myself. So everything is available for sale. So you're always welcome to email me, um, sidestreetmarketsales at gmail.com if you see something during a haul you're interested in before it hits my eBay. Um, all the Christmas stuff I got today, I'm no longer listing Christmas. All the stuff I'm buying from this point on, I'm hoarding for um, Christmas in July. But that, that doesn't mean you can't purchase it if you see something you like. I'm just saying my process is I try to buy Thanksgiving as my cutoff for listing Christmas typically. And then anything I buy after that point, I just put in a bin labeled uh, Christmas in the following year and then I pull it out closer to the holiday. So we've got Dolores and I see we've got Brie. Welcome guys. So yeah, I met my bestie, uh, Lori Blue Flamingo Mercantile, 7.30 this morning, 50 degree Florida weather. We were at the flea market. So it was interesting because, you know, we have masks on and we've got glasses. So we're fogging and we're looking through boxes. Hey book, welcome. And so uh, at 7.30, it was in the 50s. And by the time we left at 9.30, quarter to 10, it was already in the upper 60s, and now it's like 74 out. So it was a morning of layers, but it's beautiful out now. Hey, Beth. Hey, guys. And I have a ton of stuff, if you saw by my, um, my cover photo. And um, so, yeah, so we will dive in. Like I said, everything except a couple items are for sale. Um, and you'll see I got some different stuff. It's not, well, there's a lot of vintage, but I'm branching out from just vintage for my eBay. So uh, I'm gonna pick a bag, cause there's a lot of them. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this bag first, one of my Follow Me to the Flea Market merchandise bags. And there was a table, how do I describe it? Normally I would have walked by this table cause it was not vintage but it was all new stock. So what I mean is everything on the table was $5. So they had, these are the Victoria's Secret pink and it has the original tag on it. Um, it was $29.50 coconut oil body care. I have to see if they're expired. I don't know if this stuff expires, but it does have a barcode and I will open one. And I'm just curious if they're all stuck together. Okay, that's fun. Is there, there's no expiration date on these. So normally I would have walked by this table cause I'm like, who cares about that sort of stuff? But I am, I feel like I'm a little, I need to sit up higher or something. So I feel like, uh, I'm still riding the thrifting high, guys. You know what it's like. Yep, Dolores, these, okay. So Dolores is talking about getting one of these. This is my merchandise. So these are um, heavy duty totes. They are double stitched handles and the inside has a snap spot for you. So I use these for the flea market. 
Yeah, so that's what I was saying. I'm like, okay, so this pink item retailed at $29.50, a travel pack, when it was actually in the store. I got it for $5. I can probably throw it on eBay for $20 to $25, and there we go. And because it has a barcode, I can scan it, and I picked up two of those. So that was $10 that I can probably flip into $30 or $40. So that's why I'm saying, like, you'll see some different things from me and not just necessarily um, vintage this time. And going along that same thought process, they had some really cute of the little pink tri trinket boxes, dishes. Now these were $5 each also. So I'll have to see, these might be like a 12 to $15 item, but they're the pink brand with Christmas coming. These would be good. So just something to think about if you're reselling and you're really into vintage, you love vintage, I love vintage, but I'm finding now that I've been on eBay for a year and I, Etsy two years going strong, listing every day, that my vintage does sit for a while because you wanna get the price you want. So I'm trying to find filler things that will move more quickly so I can keep buying the vintage and having it on there. And going along with that, I'll show you these too. They had all these Victoria's Secret pink brand bath mats. So, and it's got the pink logo on it. This retails for $25 and I got it for $5. And now that I'm looking, I really hope that that's not a pot leaf on there. I think that that's a star. But these are round ones. So I picked up two of those. Hey, Julie. So yeah, $5 each at the flea market. Everything on the table was $5. If I'd had more room and more cash, I would have loaded up on a lot of the stuff they had at the table because they were all um, really good pricing. And I also grabbed these pink ones that actually say pink on them. Again, $5 each bath mats. So how's everyone doing this Saturday? Y'all having fun? Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna have room for everything. And you guys oh, are getting a sneak peek of my Christmas display. It hasn't been visible yet. Okay. Then this was pretty cool. It's a jewelry box. And it's one of those moon and stars. And it's got the mirror and it's got like the cases in it the little jewelry box and all the trays. And the lady who had this, does it have a front opening too? No. So it's one of those ones where you can't really put much on the bottom. You just kind of put stuff in the tray. You can put boxes on the bottom. It does have a little bit of must to it. Julie, yes, I got it yesterday and I didn't get to open it yet, girl. Thank you, yes, I got my vintage lights. I'm excited. So this vendor, I walked up to her table and I've bought from her before. She has really nice stuff. I got like a whole line of nesting hens from her. She's like, do you want this? And I was like, sure. She's like, you can have it. She said, I'm just gonna end up donating it because nobody wants it. I'm like, free works for me. So I grabbed that. I'm trying to put some of the bigger stuff on the table. Yep. Just in time, Julie. Now I have to figure out where I'm gonna put it in my display. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then the lady I got all the $5 stuff from, she gave me this. She just like said like as a thank you, it's brand new, unopened, pink brand, 1650 facial cleaner. So I'll throw that on eBay too. Okay, we're gonna keep digging, guys. And now I think we may have a little vintage in here. Let's see, this one might be some of the vintage. Oh, this was cool. Okay, so I paid $35 for all of these. And it's vintage hardware. I think I ended up with 26 pieces. And they are vintage Amarok brass and porcelain poles. And they had the part number. And so they were $2 each or uh, three for five. 
So a bag would have been 20, and I asked them if I took them all, what would they charge? And then I can piece these out on Etsy and eBay. But they're beautiful brass with the stone in the center. I'm getting used to my new phone and new camera, guys. So I don't think that that's bad. I got 24. I can't do the math, guys. 35 divided by 24. It has to be maybe about like a dollar or so each. So these would probably go for it. She said they were selling for like $12 each online. But you hear a lot of that at the flea market. Everyone's like, they're selling for this, they're selling for that. So I grabbed those. That was one of our first stops. I loaded up today. Lori was like, girl, you got a lot. Hey, Carrie Ann. How are you today? I am going through my massive haul from the flea market this morning. I stocked up on lots of new goodies. No nesting hens this time, though. I was on the lookout. Okay. I do want to be careful because I have some fragile stuff kind of tucked in and... We're not even through the first bag, guys, so make sure you grab you a snack and a, a drink. Oh, Amarok's a good name. See, I just, for me, it was the look of it. I loved it. Black or navy furniture, that's what I thought, Beth, that they'd be really, really good for that. Okay, we got one bag down, guys. One bag down, whoop, whoop, kinda. All right. <clears throat> So I picked up this guy. I think he was $2. It's a carved wood tiki candle votive. It does have a split in the... I've been picking up tiki lately. So I can grab that. I've got my carts next to me to sort stuff. And um, for those coming in, I did say that everything from this haul, except for like a couple of items I'll call out, I have a Santa and a few um, vintage bulbs that I'm keeping. The rest is all available and up for grabs. So you guys are seeing it first. Look at this beautiful Mexican wall pocket in tonal style. So I think I paid 10 for the two mugs in this guy. So they were like three something each. I don't even know what I spent today. It was just like, so I got that. Oh gosh, there's something else in here. Oh, and then I found my first tiki mug. I've never bought these before. So this one's Orchids of Hawaii, Japan, and it's a beautiful tiki mug. So I'm gonna have a little tiki section in my eBay because I have two tiki masks. I have a, I have this tiki cup now, and then I have the votive. So, you know, branching out from just like my usual my typical vintage to some newer other styles. It's kind of fun to have the variety. And then I got a kitty cat. Now this one, I don't have my black light. Do you guys mind holding on a sec and I'll run and find my black light? But this is the cat. And it doesn't look like it has a signature. So I don't know if it's a Fenton or what it is. But let me go um, real quick, Ooh. grab my black light out of my purse. Talk amongst yourselves, enjoy the holiday display. I'm just still riding the rush. Thank you, Carrie Ann. I think next Thursday I'll have a video coming out and I'll take you guys in close. This is my um, Santa land. I have my vintage Christmas tree land and then I have my choir angel section. So I'm gonna take you guys through all of that. Okay. Are you kidding me? I was just working down the hallway. So I can't, I don't think this glows. <laughs> nope, but just a really pretty blue glass cat. I did pay up, I paid $5 for him. So, okay, and then, oh, this was cool. 
This spoke to my love of the 70s. Crinkle alert, guys. Sorry. Crinkle alert. Now, would you, I, you guys have to let me know, is this a jug or like an urn? Or would you call this a vase? And I am seeing a lag because I just now got um, Dolores' message about the cat. So I am having a bit of a lag, guys. <clears throat> so this is a gorgeous 70s style. And this is the lady who gave me the jewelry box. I bought a whole bunch of nesting hens from her. She has really gorgeous ewer. It's an ewer. Did I make the garland? Is it pink and spring green? Which garland? This, this is the can, these are candy canes. It's the plastic blow mold candy. It's like the peppermints and the life mints, the lifesavers. Is that what you were asking about, book? You were. I'll have to remember that. But I just love the drip glaze on it. It's very 70s. And it's not super heavy, but so delicate. And you can see the ceramic on the insides where the glaze didn't get all the way down. But this lady always has beautiful quality stuff. You know, you pay up a little bit with her, but it's worth it because her pieces are really great quality. Like, I think she's downsizing and coming from up north. Oh. Aw. Yeah, this is one of my favorite finds. I found this back when Goodwill had decent prices. It was three strands of the plastic. Um, it's the uh, peppermints and Lifesaver candies. It was, um, I think, $1.99 in a bag at Goodwill. So this is like one of my favorite holiday finds I kept for me. Because th they're expensive to find now. Sorry, guys. I have to take a little breather. We've got a lot to go through. So I understand if you have to hop off and come back. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And you guys can't see it now, but I actually have a strand of Christmas lights going through it all. So at night, this lights up with all the multicolor um, Christmas lights. But when I do my tour, I'm going to do it kind of in the evening so you guys can see it all lit up. And then I'll put the lights on so you see what it looks like not lit up. Okay. This one is a good one for my mid-century folks. I was excited to find this because I never find the set. It's a monkey pod bowl set. German pottery. I'll have to keep that in mind too. Color is, yeah. You are, yeah, today was, today was a really, really great day at the flea market. It was really, it hit well, you know, and it, there were a lot of good vendors. I think what it is, is a lot of our snowbirds are back now since, um, I mean, we still have all the COVID going on, but it's a little less this year than last year. Because our flea market in the winter time, so living in Florida, we get what are snowbirds. And for those of you who don't live in Florida, I may not know what that is. I'm on the east coast of Florida. So 95 runs down the east coast of Florida, in, uh, the U.S. And so when it gets cold up north, we get all the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania folks. Some have vintage booths up north and stuff, they come down for the winter months and they bring their stuff with them and they sell them at our antique stores and the flea markets. So I love shopping in the winter time because we get this influx of stuff from up north. Whereas if you're on the west coast of Florida, I think it's 75 runs from up north and you get all the Indiana, Ohio, Illinois people on the west coast of Florida. So just a little trivia. But this is what I got. I got a five piece made in the Philippines monkey pod bowl set with the spatulas for $8 guys. This would have been 20 bucks at my Goodwill for a whole set like this. $8, not super scuffed up at all, gently used. So that's the big salad bowl. <clears throat> I got the four baby bowls. No worries, Michelle. No worries at all, girl. Saturday is a crazy day for folks. Look at the beautiful grain. I mean, this is like never used condition. So I can't wait to put that in my Etsy shop. And they look like little acorns, right? How cute is that? 
And I was excited because look, they came with the original wood. So the whole set was $8. So that was a really, 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 really cool find. Really, really, really cool. And I've not even had Starbucks, guys. This is just riding the thrifting thrill high. Okay. We are on to our next bucket. And this was the bucket of banks. So this vendor bought out someone's piggy bank collection and they had four bins of banks. There is a bank in here. I'm sorry, Michelle. I'm keeping for myself because it's been on my bucket list. I have been looking for the Home Co. Santa piggy bank for my Santa collection. Thanks, Michelle. And I found it. And I think she charged me two or three dollars for it. So I was very excited. And then I do have a Christmas gift mixed in here. So I do need to be careful. I don't show that in case the person watches. So, okay. I'm going to leave that in here so the person doesn't see it. Okay. So this is my bucket list Santa that I finally got. He's home co and he is the piggy bank and his stopper is rolling around on the inside, but he's in great condition, no damage. I know I do, but that's, that's, that's part of the fun of picking one for me, 10 for you, one for me, 10 for you. So I'm really excited because I've seen him in antique malls for like 20 to $30. So I know you have this one, Beth, Michelle and I were trying to get it. <laughs> See? Carrie knows she's got the good stuff. So this is one of like the three or four items from this haul I'm actually keeping for myself. And he's gonna go right up there with my other Santa Clauses. I think Beth is keeping that one, Michelle, sorry. And I know you guys are gonna be shocked, but I bought brass. I got dust flying. I got a giant brass rocking horse. I think I have a couple of these still listed in my Etsy. I think I have a medium and a small, so I may re-photograph them and sell them as a lot now because I have a couple of them. I don't know who. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. So I got that. And then this is just a basic, nice made in India. Um perfect for like a bathroom with some soaps and stuff for guests. I live in a nautical area, so these are popular. Just a nice brass shell. I've got to start putting some of this stuff down below. And then I got to go through and remember what I paid for everything. <clears throat> nope, not the only one. Let me know if we start having some troll issues, guys. And then I picked up the piggy banks. So this is an Old Navy Halloween special. He may glow in the dark, but she gave me the piggy banks two for $5. So I grabbed this one because he looked kind of like Batman style and I figured that made him a little more unique. He's, he's like a hard plastic. And then this one is a modern made in China. It's like a, it's like that faux wood resin. I guess it's a resin but I couldn't pass it up. Look, it's the, it's the tubby cow and he's a bank. I couldn't pass him up. How cute is he? I just, yeah, so he's like, I guess he's a resin. Would you guys call that a resin where it looks like the wood, but it's a plastic? Pew, 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 get them, Michelle, get them. And then, these I might sell as a set. These are hand-painted studio pieces. And if you love peanuts, these are the Charlie Brown peanut characters, I believe. And they are ceramic and they have their stoppers. This one's rolling around on the inside, but they are a studio piece. You can see where they were glazed and fired. Someone hand-painted them. Yeah, Michelle, if you missed it, um, the lady I got these from is that couple that had their tables under the tree where you got all your, your cat cross stitch and stuff from. She bought out someone's bank collection and had four bins of banks on the table. So I ended up with like six of them. So yeah, I thought these would be really cute. And if you don't know, I actually have a section in my Etsy shop devoted just to piggy banks because I love that sort of stuff. 
I'm going to put right. you guys up here very carefully. Okay. Michelle, I think you missed that you were. I got this too. And now I know the right word. Hard plastic. Okay. Now, okay, this next this next thing, I paid $10 for these. I paid up. Again, it's brass, but I have not seen their shooting stars made in India. I've not seen brass candle holders like this. So for $10, these are an easy $40 to $50 flip. Oh, um, Julie called it, AJ's Retro and Vintage, Vintage called it an Ewer, E-W-E-R, I think it was. That that's the name for, yeah, E-W-E-R for that type of vase. E-W-E-R, it's an Ewer. So yeah, I was like, ooh, those are cool. Those will be a good flip. They're heavy though, they're pretty solid. Put those in the brass section. Got my carts going. And now, okay, guys, this was, I don't know how to knit, but I thought someone on Etsy might like this or one of you guys might like this. I have, it's an Afghan, but it's in pieces. It's a granny square. The guy sold it to me for $3 for everything. So it has one main piece that looks like it was done and then strips that didn't get attached yet. So it's an in-process Afghan. Yeah, that's what I thought, Michelle. No, there was no maker's mark. It looks like almost like a studio piece because the glazing doesn't continue past right here. And it's completely smooth on the bottom, like someone painted it gold. And there's no maker's mark. I'm gonna leave it on the table because I'm afraid I'm gonna damage that on the cart. So let me show you, and this needs to be washed because it has a must to it. So this is the main granny piece I got. So this is the, it's only three. So this is the first piece that someone was doing, okay? And we'll do the height test, Michelle. It's taller than me, so it's like five foot eight. So that's the first panel. And then there are three more panels that I think just need to be attached. So I might see if my mom knows how to do it. Mom, if you're watching this project, they just need to be attached. So there's one. Yeah, so there's three more panels and then it's done. But $3 for the whole thing. I thought that was a pretty good buy. All the, the fuzz. Oh, I forgot about these next ones. Recipe boxes. Recipe box alert. I found four recipe boxes with dividers and recipe cards. So this table I've shopped before. Michelle, this is the table we shopped where I, I think you were with me. I got the plush gingerbread people and I got like the um, paper cutter. It was um, two daughters cleaning out a mom's estate of craft room stuff. So all right, Julie, I'll stop talking. I'll stop talking. We'll get to the boxes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first one I separated because it was wood and they were damp. So this is a jello one. And it's got the wooden lid and it says jello recipes on it. And then it's got all the little like tabs for the cards. And the, the girl said she took out all of her mom's recipes but left all the blank cards. So it almost looks like a little crate, but it says Jell-O on it. I don't know how old this one is, but I thought that was really cute. So there was that one. 
and I paid $10 for all four recipe boxes. The one that really drew me in was this one with the red flowers on it. It's the old metal and it has the, sorry, they're all kind of, it has these in it. I guess these are the dividers. But this, and I mean, this is in like, the only wear is like just right here. So I was very, very pleased. Oop, I don't wanna push that too hard. And it's got like the old hinge. I was very excited to find this. Then there's this one. Oh, they got they put a sticker on it that I'm not I'm, I don't know if I'll if this is a Hershey Kisses one. And she put a sticker on it. Things are getting worse. Please send chocolate. So the owner had a sticker on that. And this is another one of those hinged ones. And look. It's got all the cards in it. I thought that was cute. This one feels a little bit newer, but it's got that older hinge on the side. And the last one is more of just a tin uh, made in Hong Kong. And I forget, I think the character is Catherine or Kathy is the name of the character. The cook needs a kiss. And it's just a cute little cute little tin. So I like zoomed in on that table. Hello, Susical. Susical, has your sign arrived? And Julie, have your candlesticks arrived? Because I feel like your candlesticks have been in transit for eight weeks. I've been watching them. They're moving, but um, Kathy. Okay, I was right. Did I say that? I said Catherine. Then Kathy, right? Susical, I hope you got your wood sign because, and Julie, I hope your candlesticks get there today or tomorrow that, you know, you bought four weeks ago. And now I don't know if I have anything else in that bag. Okay, guys. Well, we are moving on. So that was everything I bought from the vendors outside. And now we have the boxes from the thrift store. And we're 32 minutes in, but I'm just gonna keep going. So the Christmas I've got, I'm saving for Christmas in July or to post next year. But if you're interested, please feel free to email me. I'm just not, I just cut off my holiday listing by November and then I stockpile stuff. Oh, good, good. I'm so glad, Susical. I was worried, I was tracking that. Dolores was sniffing the wood on her video from the sign because she liked the smell of it too. <laughs> so I picked up two of these and these are a Nyko freezer to oven, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, Japan, the Christmas tree um, snack trays. So I got two identical ones and they were $7 each. So that's what this first thing is. And I'm just gonna set these over to the side so I don't damage them. And now I have to get into this giant box, Woody. You girls, you crack me up. Okay. <coughs> Canning jar alert. Now I'm probably gonna part with these, but these would be amazing in Christmas decor. This is a three liter. And I don't know who makes this. It just says cookies on it. I thought it was an Arc France jar but it does not have any maker on it. But this guy is huge. Okay, Julie, I'll check the tracking again. I know that they passed into Canada and yesterday they were on still in transit. So I got this guy and I just thought, imagine this filled with your cookie cutters as a display, like display with all your cookie cutters, vintage cookie cutters. That'd be super cute, I'm just saying. There's gonna be lots of crinkling from Carlton glass. I'll have to check that. Okay, so these are a little outside the box for me. They are, oh, well, there's only one right here. You guys have seen these before. 
the the Italian painted in Italy rooster chicken pitcher creamers oh yeah you can tell Dave like whenever it gets low he has to refill it there's someone at my front door oh it's my mailman picking up my orders see multitasking so this is the smaller one this one's probably like seven inches and I got a 10 inch one too oh gosh Michelle And I got another cookie jar, or look at this one. Now, Michelle, this one's a Carlton, three liter. And this, this, the, uh, it says Hermetico. Oh yeah, it's just that seal. But, um, and I have backup seals, but I thought this one too was cute for a Christmas display. So those will be fun to post next year. Or if you guys are interested, let me know. I said I wasn't going to pick up any holiday stuff and then I picked up a whole bunch of Christmas so you can't trust me and then guys at the end the last thing I have do you know the plastic candelabras where it's like the three candles or the five and they're on a single base I got a lot like a whole grouping I think like 10 of them now not all of them have bulbs I I'm I know some of them have been tested but I got a whole lot of them because I had two that have both already sold in my eBay shop. So when I saw she had a whole stack of them, I said, can you make me an offer if I buy them all? And I bought all of them, of course. So. Candeliers. That might be what they're called. I call them candelabras. So they're probably candeliers. I picked up these guys and these are the Luminark brand. And there's two of them and they say copyright action. They're just a little nice um, teddy bear tree mug. So I got two of those somewhere in here. I don't know if this is the other one or if this is something else. Oh, I don't know where the other one is of that. It's probably in another box. I hopefully have it. Then I never find these, and this one has the original Indiana glass label. Michelle, I'm going to need your trick for getting candle wax out, because whenever I find these at Goodwill, they're like 4 or $5, but this one was only a dollar. Thank you, The Second Part of Living. Hey, welcome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know Saturdays are a bit crazy. We are almost done, though. We probably have maybe another 10 minutes, so thank you for sticking with me. I know I had posted I would do a Goodwill or flea market haul, and you guys seem to like the flea market ones when I'm straight from there. So then I picked up this beautiful blue whale. Now, he does not glow either. He was $5. Just hot water, Michelle? Okay. I'll soak it inside that. So this is the other um, Italian bird pitcher. This one's big. Oh, try putting it in the freezer. Put the item in the freezer until the wax is frozen. It'll pop right out then. And I think with this one, it's a sturdy, thick enough glass. I think that that would work too. So this is the big one I got. And you can see the size difference. This is the little one. Now, would you guys sell these as a set or separate? Because they are two different color schemes. But they are both made in uh, Italy, hand-painted Italian. Oh, you've had glass bust. Ooh, Pat Doodles just released a video. She shed studio organizing. Ooh. Separate? Okay. I'll do that because they are different colors. All right, I think this is the last item in this box. I hope my other mug is in the other box. So that was one box and I have another box this size and we are done guys. Sorry, I gotta move my chairs around. So the last item I picked up was this Luminark set and it's still in its original. So I don't know, this makes me nervous for shipping though cause I like to really wrap my stuff 
and there's like bugs and stuff in there. So I might have to like open this up and like clean it good, but it's like the original, it's got your snowman. You've got Santa in the sled. Um, you've got another snowman and you've got a Christmas tree. So I'll have to get that cleaned up and out. I have so much inventory to do this afternoon now, guys. All right, here we go. Here is the last of it. For my tin, tin people. I got this really cute kitchen tin and it came with its original scooper. That's what I like too, Michelle. She had a lot of Christmas glassware, but I love that they were still in the box, but I still might have to like open the box to wash them. Oh, are you freaking over this, Michelle? She had one in red too, but I didn't get to the flea market quick enough to grab it. And then, let's see what else we got here. Hi, Diane. Welcome, girl. So guys, what do you think of the video quality? Because it, I'm using my new iPhone. I feel like it's better than my Android was. Now these I picked up, I usually see, sorry, paper. I usually find these at Goodwill and they are always broken. So this set is not broken. They have their stoppers and they are in perfect condition. It's the rocking grandma and grandpa. Um, Michelle, can you get that? Uh, retirement fund. So they're banks, they're piggy banks. Hi, Chicago lady, Jeannie. Hey girl. I'm getting different, um, thank you, Michelle. It's coming through, like my iPad is coming through some where my phone is not coming through. So I picked these up and they have the retirement fund on the back. They are Japan. So that's cool. And I did pay $12 for the set. So I don't know if I overpaid, but I thought they were cute and I've never seen them in good condition. And like I said, I have the vintage piggy bank section on my Etsy. So I kind of look to keep that stocked. So I'm, I'm known for it. Then branching out, I found this really nice carved wood mask. A little bit of primitive art and it was in great condition. There was no chips or damage. So I picked that up and these are for me and these are for me. Sorry guys. Um, well, these actually may end up getting sold. I have another bag I have to go through, but they are all the little tiny wooden Christmas ornaments. So these may end up getting sold. I'm trying to get a lot like a grouping together is what I, so these will probably end up for sale because there's lots of duplicates. But now this set is for me because I collect the mini ornaments. You can't see it, but I have a, a glass Christmas boot. You'll see it's right there. When my um, close-up video comes out next Thursday, I have a glass Santa boot that's filled with mini um, shiny brights. Well, I found the furry ones now. That's what I call them, the furry ones. Michelle, don't do it, don't say it. <laughs> but these, so I thought these would be real cute if I can find some more clear little like holiday canisters for next year to continue my mini ornament collection. And this bag was only $4. Spun, yeah. Oh, they could be spun. But I thought those were fun. I did offer them the Lori first, but she, she uh, or I might have just snatched them. <laughs> okay. Then I picked up, because it's a joke, Eye of the Tiger. You know, when you have cats, you understand. I picked up this record. And then this mug goes with the other one. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Now, the last thing is what I was telling you about. I got all of these, okay? I bought the whole entire satin. There we go, satin 
spun. Those are all very good words for it. Satin spun, because I remember we had the gold ones when I was a kid, the big gold version that I used to not like, but I like the little, the little ones, like especially the peppermint looking ones. Those would be great too on like a little wreath or something. You had that album, Susical? <laughs> okay guys, so this is where I'm excited. So like these I'd sell as a set. I got these. Now I got this whole box of candeliers for $20. So I thought that was pretty good because I need to test them. So I have the two singles. So what do you guys think? Did I, did I hit it pretty good today at the flea market? Did you have some favorites? I mean, we got everything from Victoria's Secret pink new stock to, you know, Japan rock and grandpa. We got all sorts of spectrum there. I feel very fortunate to have this flea market by me that I can source from. Um, yeah, Susical, um, if you were saying wow to the pink stuff, I also got like Victoria's Secret pink brand like bath mats and stuff. Everything on the table is $5 new in stock. So, okay. Now I have four of these guys, which I've not seen the mini ones before. I've only seen the five stick, not the three stick. And Michelle, I'm probably going to ask you again because I keep wanting to call it candelabra. Shand You'll have to text it to me, girl, that word. Because my brain isn't, oh, and so these have the cute little bell icon. And these, this, this set doesn't have any, um, sometimes you find them and they have yellowing. This one's pretty solid color all the way through. So that's cool. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any sort of like brand on it, but I'm not seeing any brand. So there's two of those because you know, some of the stores are reproducing them. Oh, gotcha, Susical. Thanks. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah. She's, she's really good. And now, okay guys, so your recommendation on when I don't have bulbs, do you think I can find like something to use at like Home Depot or Lowe's? Candeliers, candeliers, candeliers. Candle like chandeliers, but with candles. Candeliers. I'm gonna try to remember that but I'm hoping I can find more bulbs. I'll need to do that before next year to get all these listed. C6 bulbs. So I'll just have to look for C6 bulbs. That'll be fun. And then, now I had two sets of these listed and I sold out of these already. So I already know that next year I'll get, so what I do with my holiday is I try to have Thanksgiving and Halloween listed by September 1st at the latest. And then by October 1st, I like to have all my Christmas. And then the week before Thanksgiving is the last week I will list my Christmas stuff online and the rest I'll hold for next year. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Oh, cause I could get a string and just steal the bulbs. That'd be good. So that's it guys. Now, I also have um, a really awesome Goodwill haul, but what I'll do with that is that one will air probably late December, and I've got some cool bags. Like, I got a whole bag of, like, um, findings and bindings, like the vintage, like, wavy ribbons and stuff, and some vintage ceramics and all that. I had a good Goodwill haul, but I've got to get that stuff kind of inventory. Why, hello, Holly. Are you going to come join us? Um, I've got to get it inventory now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that as a regular haul video pre-recorded, but I'll do it as a premiere. So when it airs, I can be in the chat with you guys. I know it's not quite the same as this, but, um, that way I can at least still like interact with you guys and we could be like, Ooh, what was in the bag? Oh, my hands are so dirty from touching this stuff. I need a hazmat suit. Holly, are you going to come say hi? Come here. Oh, no, she ran. 
Well, that was it guys. That was my I'm surrounded epic uh, flea market haul from this morning. So that was two and a half hours of shopping. I did some damage. So um, the thrift store, I spent a little over 90 in, which was like all the candles, the tin, the chickens, the ornaments, the like big glass vase things, all that. Yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day for picking. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to try to continue to do this once a month, pop on and do a, um, a flea market haul with you guys, maybe twice a month. We'll see. It just depends upon when I go. And if, and that'll only be while the weather is cool. Because once you hit May through August in Florida, the flea market is just walking on the sun. So guys, have a happy and a wonderful weekend. Stay safe out there. Enjoy the holiday time with your families. <laughs> Thanks, Susical. <laughs> I wish we could more easily just ship it all to you guys, you know, easier pricing for you. But yeah, thanks guys. I appreciate all your support and uh, I'm going to sign off, get me some water, maybe take a nap. Just kidding. I got to get all this clean and inventoried and I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great weekend.